Hey girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. I'm really sorry for this, like, possibly the worst angle in the world, but my room is a bit of a mess today, and I'm going to be using the closet today as well, because I am talking about making coordinates in Lolita. Now, um, what pe most a lot of people don't know about my Lolita wardrobe is that it's really small right now. But I've kind of made it so coordinates are really simple. But I'm going to talk you through the way that I like to make some of my coordinates and how I kind of figure things out. So first, first thing you want to do is you want to choose your main piece. So like the thing that you want to wear the most. So if it's a certain print you want to wear or like maybe a certain pair of shoes you want to wear, just think of that one thing that you want to base things around because that will be your starting point to jump off from and be able to choose other pieces within your outfit. I find the easiest thing to start from is either your skirt, jumper, skirt, or OP because obviously there's a lot of prints out there. So I find that's the easiest place to start. So I'm going to give you a few examples. So this is Hey Newey's Angel of Music. This is one of my options. Or another example that I like is Hey Newley's For Juliet. Um, obviously, I am a fan of Hey Newley. <laughs> Some other examples are this OP from Strawberry Witch. Or, for example, this handmade skirt. And I've got some other stuff too, but like just choosing your main piece. Um, I'm going to give examples for both of these pieces. So let's start with Hey Newly's For Juliet. Put that back in my closet <laughs> for now. So when we're looking at Hey Newly's For Juliet, we want to see what colors are in this print. Obviously we have the navy because I got the navy colorway, so that's an option for colors to coordinate into it. Um, and then if we look closer at the print, Juliet's dress has red, so we could use that. There's white with the pearls, and there's also this kind of yellow color that you could, if you were really ambitious, you could go for it. But I would say the easiest colors to put with this would be red and white or uh, navy, of course. Now, in their stock photos on Hanuli, they coordinated with navy. So that's a pretty easy one to do, but I so kind of made my entire wardrobe around black, red, white, gold. Those are the colors that I've made everything coordinate with. So I'm going to coordinate this with red. Uh, and also just because this is, I don't have a lot of time right now to film the whole video, really. But I needed to get this out because I've got a meetup on Sunday and I want this done. <laughs> so I'm not going to be putting on the outfits to show you except for my finalized one from the meetup. I'll show you a video of that. But this is just some ideas of how to coordinate things. So if I'm going to coordinate with red, uh, we want to. I'm going to start from the bottom up, interestingly. Uh, so we have these. So I'm going to choose some red tea party shoes. Or, I don't even know if these are, te there's not technically tea parties, but they're cute and they're from Ty and Tyna. The bow comes off as well. So I have these red shoes to go with the red on Juliet's dress. So when we have the red here and the red here, this is like a red in the lower, a red in the mid. So we have to have a red on the upper. So you could either go for some red accessories, a red bolero, or a red sweater. <laughs> So if I was to coordinate with for Juliet, I would go with a red sweater and a pair of red shoes. So that gives me the red color all over my coordinate and the blue is kind of like a standout color. Now since I've kind of made the blue a kind of lonely color, I want to make my top dark. Because had I gone with something different with coordinating, like gone with the gone with the, all the navies, I would want to make my blouse white to kind of offset that, but I want to make it kind of a darker color. Now, this is a little harder because I only have white blouses, um, so I'll show you what I like to do. I can either take a white blouse that has no sleeves, which actually needs hemming because I just kind of, it's rough cut, like, I literally just cut the sleeves off a of blouse, like, 
Yeah, it's not nice. It's not pretty, but you never see these. So, I I mean, this is just a completely off-brand blouse that ended up being, like, way too big for me. So I thought, I'll stick it under other things. So I can either take this, or I can get a little fancier, and I can take my other blouse and put it under one of my favorite things to use with Lolita, which is this kind of, like, lacy t-shirt thing. It probably, you can't see that. Yeah, you can kind of see the lacy detailiness there. But yeah, this, and it's quite low cut. Like this is the, it's a V-neck. So it's not appropriate for Lita by itself. But if we put this underneath and put the collar out over top, it works great. So the black kind of brings in the darkness of this dark blue. Or we could go with a dark blue, like a navy chiffon blouse, which would be kind of fun, especially since chiffon is really great for summer, which it is technically officially summer now, but we're getting more like April weather here in Canada because we had snow in April and May. Yeah, it was a not fun winter in Canada, but that are some examples, that are, wow, so English, that are some examples that we can use there. So having this, with this under it, with the red sweater over top, along with the red tea party shoes, and the skirt. Now for your legs, uh, there are some options, and to balance out the black of this, I would use a, either black tights or black ankle socks or black knee highs. Um, really up to you. My preference is either tights or ankle socks because knee highs just do not work on me because I have very muscular calves. Like my calves are just like, gah, and then I've got these tiny ankles like in comparison. So it's just does not look good to wear knee socks. It looks like really stupid on me. Sorry, it's like kicked a box of tea. I'm moving, so it's a little it's a little crazy here. And I keep looking at myself. I'm sorry. I'm I am not in practice with making videos lately. All right, stick that back in. Maybe actually put it where it belongs. That'll lead up great. Also, I have the underskirt for. For Juliet, so you could also wear this to add a little bit of length, and it has a little bit more chiffon frill stuff. It's kind of fun. And now on to my Angel of Music, which I think is the, I think this is the skirt that I will be wearing for the meetup because I got both Angel of Music and For Juliet after our last meetup. The funny thing is, um, after our last meetup in my com. Uh, I literally was picking up for Juliet that day at 1 p.m. and our meetup was at noon. How great is that? I couldn't even wear for Juliet. Goodness, Angel of Music. I couldn't even wear my new skirt. And I, this is like, if you saw the video, the unboxing video I did of this, you could know just how excited I was for the skirt. It became an instant dream dress. Like it became an instant dream fit. And I bought it. So we have lots of options to go for with this one. Uh, it's a great, great color coordinate. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. And it's got all of those colors I mentioned. It's got the red. It's got the black. It's got the gold. And it's got the white. So there is so much that I can do with my wardrobe with this skirt. Um, I've got at least a couple of different outfits. Whoa! <laughs> Falling apart here. A couple of different outfits that I can do. Now, there's my go-to outfit for it would be kind of similar to my Ford Juliet one, which would be the red sweater, the red shoes, black tights, the same black top with the white shirt underneath. Like that would be a go-to for this skirt, but it is really hot out. So not really hot out. It's gonna be like 17C, which is not hot to a lot of people, but here in Canada, that's pretty damn warm right now. So what I thought of for an alternative to that outfit for this skirt is to go for either just the plain white blouse on the top, or we could also do the black blouse with the under blouse as well. Those are still the top options. Either of these would work with this outfit, I think. And then go for black ankle socks with 
gold tea parties. Now these ones are actually like tea party style. Goodness, I can't see myself. So these are actual like tea party style with the wrap around and the ankles and stuff. And these are also from Antina because I have huge freaking feet. So I have to get on Tina shoes. So go for the gold shoes to match the gold here on the dress. It's so pretty. Go for that with black ankle socks. I could go for the plain blouse on top so it's less um, fabric happening. Or we could go for the double fabric here but there'd be less fabric on the sleeves for me. So both could work. And then all you have to do is accessorize however you want. So accessories are a little bit di more difficult for me and Lolita just because often I don't buy the accessories that go with it. Uh, <laughs> this is how I store my accessories. These are all my Lolita accessories, the only ones I have right now that are specifically Lolita. So let's open this up, shall we, and see what we have. So of course I have the headdress for Angel of Music. So this would be a perfect option, especially in summer, if I wanted to go with my natural hair, which is this, my real hair. So you could go for a bit of this action, which I honestly don't know how to wear this, especially since I've got really, not really short hair anymore, but I haven't had long hair in so long, I barely know how to style this. Or we have the beret, which this is great to wear with the red sweater during the winter. So you can go for a, a beret, a little bit of a, ooh, or more backwards, but yes. We could go for some more fun stuff, like gold star, like drop. And I've got somewhere I have a three stars together that's just one little pin, just like this. And I don't know where that is, so now that's going to make me think. I'll be thinking about that for the rest of the video, and at least after the video, too. I have no idea where that went. And then during a Lolita um, gift exchange last Christmas time, I got this beautiful, beautiful handmade necklace. And it is in those colors that match Angel of Music perfectly. It's got pearls. And it's black, red, and gold. Like, with this, like, beautiful, like, lava stone. So this is great. Um, it was made a little bit too short. So I had to add this extender. And it, I could only find silver extenders. But they're going to be the back of my neck. So I could wear this necklace with any of those head accessories that I talked about with the Angel of Music skirt, etc. So that's some just ideas and ways that I think about my coordinates because just I, I do not have a lot of stuff in my wardrobe just yet. I'd love to be getting more stuff soon but uh, I'm moving and that's costing me some money and but I might be getting a bit of a better hours with my job and some stuff like that so I'm hoping that I can soon get some new stuff. Um, I know that Hey Newly has just recently released a print. Um, I don't think I'm getting that one just because it's they have gray, indigo, and, and blue or navy and just those don't really go. I mean I did choose the navy in the Four Juliet because it can be integrated with my red, gold, black kind of color scheme I'm overall going for. So I chose that because it does kind of coordinate with that and it allowed me to get a different color into my wardrobe. But yes, this has probably gone on way longer than I wanted to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.